Hi gang, this is called a smoke precipitator or an electrostatic precipitator. When it's turned off, smoke simply flows through it, but when it's turned on, the outlet is clear of any visible smoke. The smoke particles collect on this cylinder instead. I'll show you how it works and how to make one. First, how the smoke precipitator works. There's a metal mesh here that's charged with a high voltage negative charge. And there's an aluminum foil cylinder here that's charged to high voltage positive. As the smoke passes through the mesh, smoke particles pick up a negative charge. The negatively charged particles are attracted to the positively charged cylinder and stay there. Whatever's left exits the top. Here's a quick run through of how to make the smoke precipitator. I start with a plastic jar that's fairly long and with straight sides. I cut off the bottom end. Next, I shape a thick wire into a circle that fits well inside the jar, but with a length extending from the circle. I strip the insulation off the circle part and solder where the circle is closed. I then cut a disc made of metal fly screen. This is my mesh. I hot glue that to the circle, making sure the mesh is in good contact with the wire in a lot of places. I make a small hole in the side of the jar near the top. I put the mesh circle inside with the lead wire sticking out the jar. Next, I hot glue some straws to the inside of the jar. Any electrically non-conductive material will do. These act as supports for the next part. I make another circle of thick wire that fits within the supports. I cut a strip of aluminum foil that's longer than the wire and around two and a half inches or a little over six centimeters wide. I put the wire in the middle of the foil and fold the foil over it, making sure this edge is smooth. I roll it into a cylinder and tape the ends. That gives me a metal cylinder with one smooth end. I lower that with the smooth side down between the supports I'd added previously. I then attach the bare end of a wire to it. Notice that the distance between the mesh and the cylinder is easily changeable. Done. Time to test it. For the high voltage, I'm using my high voltage power supply. The cylinder is connected to high voltage positive. The mesh is connected to a wire going to earth ground, which will be charged negatively due to its interaction with the positive cylinder. Underneath, I have the end of an incense stick. While it's running, you can see the smoke going through the mesh and out the top. But when turned on, nothing visible is coming out. And here's a close-up of the smoke inside after it's been charged. And here's the bluish corona. This candle doesn't give off much smoke, but when I blow it out, it does for a while. As you can see, there's enough smoke to go all the way through. I turn on the high voltage and do it again. This time nothing comes out the top. The same thing happens when I use two blown out matches. And as you can see, the aluminum foil has gotten pretty dirty after a while of use. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more fun videos like this. That includes one on how to make a neat corona motor, sometimes called an atmospheric or electrostatic motor, another about freezing water using a Peltier module, and one on an easy to make laser called a T-laser. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.